let's talk about the controversial Adani JKIA deal making headlines and what it reveals about Kenya's public-private partnerships or PPPs. The proposed deal to lease the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. The Kenyan government is not ready to come clean on what JKIA Adani deal is all about. Pertinent documents concerning the proposed engagement of Adani Airport Holdings. A section of senators have now called on the government to abandon plans to lease the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to Adani Holdings Limited. Imagine if the government and private companies were cast in a reality TV show. The PPP Act would be their rule book and the Adani deal would be the latest episode everyone's buzzing about. So what exactly is a public-private partnership or a PPP? Picture this. Your local bakery teams up with a global flour supplier to bake the ultimate cake. The local baker brings the recipes and the big company delivers the flour and the sugar. That's a PPP in a nutshell. The government and the private sector joining forces to create and manage public assets. But why bother with PPPs? Well, Kenya's got big dreams and not enough cash. Just look at the Thika Superhighway, a major project made possible through a PPP. The private sector has the capital, expertise and capacity to deliver these projects efficiently. Now, every partnership needs some ground rules, right? Enter the PPP Act. Kenya's rule book for these grand collaborations. The 2021 Act allows private companies to bring their own ideas to government, which wasn't well defined in the 2013 Act. Now private firms can propose projects directly to government for quicker responses to infrastructure needs. It's supposed to ensure transparency, fairness and public interest. But sometimes it's like trying to read the terms and conditions on a website. You know you should, but who actually does? Take the Nairobi Expressway, for example. This mega project had many scratching their heads over its toll fees. Now, the PPP Act says there should be transparency and public consultation. But transparency isn't exactly the project's middle name. The PPP Act of 2021 introduces several measures to improve transparency in the procurement process. The Act makes it clear that projects should go through competitive bidding, meaning multiple companies can compete fairly. This ensures that all contracts are awarded based on merit and not favoritism. Now let's start the port with the Adani JKIA deal. And here's the scoop. The Indian conglomerate Adani Group wants to manage JKIA, kind of like letting a new chef take over your favorite restaurant. They promise upgrades and top-notch management. Sounds good, right? So why all the drama? The deal is wrapped in controversy. Kenyans have done due diligence in trying to know who Adani is. And their findings, Adani is not credible. Questions are swelling about how Adani got the gig. It's like the secret recipe that no one's sharing. This deal is anchored on quicksand or fraud, fear manipulation, conmanship. And what about local businesses? Public outrage has been brewing with concerns that local businesses might be left out in the cold. The state Back is the owned road. by workers. Yes. Yes. You cannot say you have consulted other stakeholders when the owners of the state yes. have yes. not yes. been yes. 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 For large government projects, the Act mandates public disclosure of key project details such as the bidding process, the project cost, and the winning bidder. This level of transparency ensures that the public knows exactly what is happening and who is involved. And What's causing the uproar? The lack of transparency is a big issue. As a legislator, I don't feel well informed, all right? And I want to be informed by the state. I want to be informed by the ministry. I want to be informed uh, not just by social media. It's like the Lamu Port, South Sudan, Ethiopia transport project, LAPSET, where locals felt left out. Now, just like in Lamu, the Adani deal has sparked concerns about who really benefits. The stakes are high and the questions are pressing. 
What is the consequence in case this deal is brought or halted today as you walk out from here? And then there's the national security angle. Handing over a major airport to a foreign company sounds like letting someone else hold the keys to your house. The law allows the government to retain controlling stakes or other forms of ownership in strategic assets. This ensures that while foreign companies can invest and operate, Kenya maintains ultimate control over critical infrastructure. Looking back, Kenya's PPP history is a mixed bag. The Nairobi Expressway had its toll drama, and Lapset left locals feeling left out. So what's next for PPPs? I propose a revision to the Act that would require public notification as soon as a PIP is submitted by an investor. This would allow the public to know when an investor has approached the government with a proposal and would not be in the situation we are in. With the right moves, PPPs could turn into a feel-good story of Kenya's economic growth. Here is to hoping the script writers get it right.